tvOS 17 and its point releases brought a bunch of new functionalities and the removal of some capabilities to the Apple TV platform. But we're at here the start of 2024, already about midway through January. Uh, it won't be all that long before we start seeing new Apple kit for the year. And I wanted to put out there right away, what are the things that I'm hoping for? Let's go over like a top five list of software features, capabilities, and such that I'm hoping, that I'm really, really hoping that Apple is considering, designing into, developing, planning for right now for tvOS 18. Of course, we won't know for sure what we're getting until WWDC in June, but if we get any of the stuff on this list, tvOS 18 will be looking a whole lot sharper than tvOS 17. So item number one, I very, very much want to see the ability to map user profiles on the box to profiles within the apps themselves. Of course, Apple TV in the more, re more recent tvOSs has done a lot with user profiles. These are really great. And when you change your profiles, they actually work to change which active uh, iCloud memory storage settings, configuration, and so on work in some specific Apple apps, like Apple Music, for example, if I switch between or my wife's profile and I go to Apple Music, I'm able to see my library versus her library. However, those profiles have no mapping to underlying apps. So Max, Disney+, Plus, Netflix, they all support user profiles. And it's a bit of a pain to have to kind of manually switch the profiles of the sub apps when we have the ability to map those things or we should have the ability to link those things to the profiles on the system. I don't wanna launch Max and have to pick my parents or my kids or my specific profile within the household. I would just like to be able to map parents to dad, parents to mom or my specific Jeremy account uh, to my specific profile and be good to go from there. I think the usability of the box would be significantly improved with this feature. I don't think that one should be too terribly hard to do. All right, item number two, I've harped on this one quite a bit, but the Apple TV app in the library section needs some upgrades. When I'm looking at my movies, give me some movie posters, not these landscape thumbnails, Apple. Second, give me those movie details, that sweet movie details page. Let me long press and see those movie details just like I can off of the up next list. And lastly, the other thing that this very, very much needs is the ability to define movies into collections. As it is right now, I've got some 1500 odd movies in my iTunes account. This is a long list to be scrolling through. Of course, we can use voice search and stuff like that, but I'd like to see the Star Wars movies in a defined collection. I'd like to put the Marvel movies, the DC movies, et cetera, et cetera, into customized, defined collections where I can define the order. If I want my Marvel movies by, by theatrical release or by timeline, I can do that. The UI is there. We should be able to have a collections tab right off the left. Uh, add movies to multiple collections. Kaleidoscape does this quite nicely. Voodoo does this as well. We need it. Apple, please bring this. Turn our libraries into something special that is a digital representation of our favorite movies and the things that we own digitally in your platform. Number three, let's get better support on the home row for apps. I think it's absolutely silly that the whole Apple TV UI is defined around the idea of having apps up on this home row and app providers, app makers, don't have any specific requirement to do something interesting with the home row. Just looking at the apps that I keep on my home row, the better part of them don't do anything. YouTube, nothing. I should be able to jump to my favorite channels. I should be able to jump into maybe my most recent recording. Disney Plus, nothing. Come on, give me an up next. Give me some recommendations or, or something along those lines. Max as well, thumbs down to you. Netflix is doing it right. The stuff I'm watching right now, we're almost done with Better Call Saul. And this Blue Eye Samurai show is absolutely fantastic. Check it out if you're into anime. YouTube itself, nothing. So Google failing YouTube TV, neither YouTube TV nor the YouTube app itself does anything on the home row. Let me jump right into my watch later list off the home row. It's so easy, so simple. 
And as part of the UI kit, the UI requirements, the app requirements, Apple should just absolutely require app makers to do something of interest with this home row. Number four, I'll put it out there, of course, the thing that we all want, the thing we've all been waiting for, come on, Apple, give us a higher fidelity tier, a higher fidelity level of streaming for our audio and our video quality. We're ready for it. Give us lossless audio. Give us 100 uh, megabits of bitrate on our video. Sony's doing it with Bravia Core. Come on, challenge physical media, Apple. You can be the ones. Juice iTunes. Make it be the pinnacle. Take the bull by the horns and, and just bring it. Every year, this is like really the number one thing that I'm hoping that we see uh, out of the WWDC announcements for myself. And I think that remains the case for a lot of folks as well. Yeah, I understand not everybody has the bandwidth uh, to do this. Not everybody has maybe a level of system where that level of quality would be uh, realized or appreciated to its fullest potential. But there are plenty of us out here that have the systems, have the bandwidth, and would very, very much like to see this done. And then my last one, number five, I'll throw this out there as something that probably isn't very likely to happen, but something that I would be very much appreciative of if it came, is a native UI selectable option to specify that I have a 16 by nine or a wider scope type screen. Kaleidoscape does this down in my theater. I, I have a 163 inch scope projection screen set up and it's really cool when other devices like Kaleidoscape let you in their settings, in their menus, define your native screen aspect ratio type and render the UI specifically formatted according to that setting. So if I'm zooming up uh, in order to use my projector lens memory settings, I'm not losing UI above and below the screen. I don't have to rely just on an expensive video processor to jump me back and forth. The Kaleidoscape setting is awesome. It would be amazing, amazing for say high level integration, home theater capability of the Apple TV uh, to be able to have an option in settings and to find an aspect ratio for the UIs. Part and parcel with that kind of a, of a 5A and a 5B would be better control system integration and interaction as well. As it is the control four drivers for the Apple TV leave a lot to be desired. They don't communicate state. There's no way to deliberately like link the state of the lights in the room via a control system with Apple TV based on the state of playback. Are you in content? Are you at the menus? And other things like that. Kaleidoscape like leads the league and wins the, wins the whole hobby, wins the space in that regard. But a lot of us use these Apple TVs in these high-end, dedicated, theater, projection-based, control system-based entertainment spaces. There's room to cater to this enthusiast base. There's room for Apple TV Pro-esque type features. I'm ready for them. I hope you are too. And it would be amazing, amazing to see that stuff come. So that's my top five, encompassing a collection of better functionality, better interfaces, higher technical levels of performance and capability. Apple TV, despite some of the, the setbacks or some of the, the deficiencies, let's say, of tvOS 17 still remains my favorite and most pervasive home living room and dedicated home theater room video content delivery uh, device. I don't see that changing anytime soon, but there's a massive roadmap of opportunity and potential ahead for the platform, and I hope they really start to seize it. We'll see what happens with the remainder of tvOS 17 between now and mid-year, and then all bets are off when we get to WWDC again in summer. So sound off in the comments. Are you an Apple TV user? Why or why not? And what critical features, what awesome features, what great capability would you love to see brought to the platform? Share your thoughts, share your notes down in the comments and let's discuss. Otherwise, if you would, please do all that regular YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, hit the bell, share the video, all those things. And if you'd like to support Techthusiasm, lots of ways to do that down in the description. I've got super thanks, PayPal Venmo tips, shop with my affiliates like Audio Advice and Amazon. Always very much appreciated. Thanks so much for watching. Come on back for more home theater discussion and fun.